Four years ago this month, a 38-year-old woman named Jocelyn Ernest was found shot to death in Bedford County, Virginia. Her case is filled with bizarre twists and turns. It is now the subject of tomorrow night's 48 Hours Mystery right here on CBS. And Tracy Smith is here with a preview. Tracy, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this is a story where few things look as they first appear. Everything changes before your very eyes, starting with a crime scene that initially looked like a suicide. We spent two years trying to sort out this mystery by talking with investigators and with the man they eventually arrested for murder. Jocelyn Ernest, a successful businesswoman, was discovered dead inside her home on December 20th, 2007. A revolver by her side and a note by the front door. It was addressed to mom, please forgive me. Wes has put us in such financial bind that I can't recover. Uh, my new love will not leave the family. Love, Jocelyn. Money problems, a new love. Those 83 words seem to raise more questions than answers. We found out that she was married and was separated at the time. She was married to Wesley Ernest. The most athletic person I've ever met. She can do anything she wants, successful. Great job working for a great company. They had built a lake house that was worth a lot of money. We're talking multi-million dollar homes all over this lake. Was there romance? Very little. She kept telling me I needed to go to sleep with other women and come home to her. He seemed to adore me. The way he would look at me, it would always just make me get those butterflies. He told me that he was separated. He wanted to be upfront and honest, and I appreciated that. Ernest, an assistant high school principal, claims his wife was suicidal. But two fingerprints on that mysterious note matched his. I lived in that house for 10 years. I guess it could be possible. And you're confident it's not your fingerprint? I'm very confident it's not mine. I'm that guy who's making it safe for kids to go to school. And I'm in this situation. It's pretty scary. Jocelyn and Wesley's marriage was collapsing. And investigators soon learned where there's smoke, the roof just fell in. There's fire. Oh my word. So many twists and turns. It's just a wild story. What happened with that, that lake house fire? After Jocelyn died, suddenly that house goes up in smoke. Now Wesley was in over his head with a mortgage. So boom, problem solved. The house burns to the ground. But he was miles away. They never tied him to that fire. So it really still is a mystery what happened there. Okay. We, we, we say that with, with, with Wesley, his mindset was, was what when you talked to him? You know, he is a man of many faces, depending on who he talks to. If he's talking to a single woman, he's suddenly unmarried and independently wealthy with us. He was was this selfless guy who works with kids, mm -hmm. who said, you know, very innocently, mm. well, we had this arrangement where my wife said I could go sleep with other women. So he's an odd duck. But just because he's an odd duck doesn't, doesn't make, mean he's exactly. a murderer. Exactly. Doesn't make someone guilty. It's it's fascinating. Her family, though, also broke their silence to speak to you. What did they have to say about all of this? You know, they really wanted to get so often in these cases, you focus mm -hmm. on the guy who's accused and you right. forget about the victim. So they really wanted us to see Jocelyn, who was this amazingly successful woman, great daughter, great sister, success in everything she did until she got married. And that's where things went wrong. Now, he would say that's why she took her own life. That's what Wesley would say. Her family says there's no way that she would have ever done this to herself. It's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to learning more uh, this weekend in 48 Hours. Mr. Mystery Tracy, nice to see you this morning. Thanks. Thanks, Tracy.